Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise Master Jesus. The Lord bless each and every one. In the name of Jesus, amen. Jesus can make you a millionaire. Hallelujah. I take this again. Jesus makes people millionaire. I want you to listen to this particular prophetic word from the beginning to the end. I'm led to do this word to boost the spirit of a lot of Christians that were about to give up, that about to like give up their faith. Some are even discouraged, maybe because of the type of messages we are hearing. Praise Master Jesus. But I was going through the Bible, I came across some certain scripture. I interpreted this scripture to myself. I said, no, I must record this to boast the feet of someone watching me. Just listen to this word from the beginning to the end. In the name of Jesus. When we look in the book of Matthew chapter 8, the Bible talks of a man called the Roman officer. This is the centurion. This man came to Jesus and said, Master, my servant is sick. Jesus was not an army. He was not working in law. This man was a commander. He was a soldier. He had all the influence, all the power, and he had the, 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 the money. His servant was sick. The money could not do anything in the life of the servant. This is Jesus. People call poor man. But a millionaire came seeking for help for Jesus. That is point number one. Why could the millions not cure the Roman officer's servant? You call Jesus a poor man? This is Jesus that spoke a word. The demon went out. The servant was healed. Let's come in the book of Mark chapter number 5, from verse 26 downward. The Bible says, And a certain woman who, who has an issue of blood, she visited all the best doctors of her days. Can a poor woman visit the best doctor of her days? The blessings of the Lord make her rich and added no sorrow. So this woman was rich, but she visited all the best doctors because she had money. This woman was a millionaire. She spent everything just to receive her healing. She, but the Bible says her situation rather grow worse than better. You call Jesus a millionaire, a, a, a poor man? This woman came to Jesus seeking for help. When she heard of Jesus, she said, no, if I can only touch the garment of this man. Was Jesus a poor man? With all what this woman has been through, she said, if I can only touch the garment. Then you open your mouth to call Jesus poor man. This woman touched the garment of Jesus. She was healed. Let's take the third point. Hallelujah. I might not give you the scripture, but the Bible says there was a man called Naaman. Naaman was a great man of influence, a great man of value. He was the captain of the army of Syria. Hallelujah. That God have used him to give victory, but this man could not walk. He was, a lame, he was lame. He was a leper, Naaman. Upon all the position, the captain and everything. He didn't went to Jesus. All that people will say, who did Jesus make millionaire? But this is a millionaire. A captain. He has everything. He, then the connection came from a young lady. A housemate told the wife, I know of a prophet. I know of, of a man who has accepted Jesus. If only the master can go, can see this prophet, Naaman will walk again. What millionaire cannot do, prophet did. Naaman went, the prophet said, dip yourself seven times to the pool. Naaman dipped himself seven times and Naaman could walk. Praise Master Jesus. Naaman could walk. This is, these are scriptures. These are not even up to one of a millions of scriptures of what Jesus Christ did, what men did. Child of God, can a poor man speak to demon, go, and the demon goes out? Can a poor man command cancer to go and that cancer goes out? No, except you are not following the Jesus I know. Except your own Jesus is a poor Jesus because the Jesus of the Bible was never a poor man. The Jesus of this book 
The Bible, which is the word of God, was never a poor man. And I will never see Christianity as, 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 as an error. I will never look at people following Jesus as poor people. I might not be the son of the much richest man on earth, but I have Jesus. I am more than a millionaire. I might not be the son of any other person that is wealthy, a billionaire, but I have Jesus. I know I am on fire. I can speak to things and those things will go. Millionaires, there are things millions cannot do. Millions does not open all doors. Child of God, those millionaires, there are people that cannot sleep. Some take injections every day to sleep. Do you call that millions? Is that the reason you, you have the God to call my God poor God? That is because of poverty? Ah, no. No. Jesus made us all millionaires. Child of God, they, from the very first day you lifted up your hands and accepted Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, you became a millionaire. You became a millionaire. You became a millionaire. A millionaire. I will say it and I will say it again. You became a millionaire. A millionaire. Let nobody deceive you that Jesus cannot make somebody rich. Child of God, there are levels you go to your family, you look at the demonic altars that you and your sisters have spent money, spend money, spend money. There is nothing. The moment you receive Jesus, uh, there is a courage. Uh, the Bible says in the book of faith, John chapter 3 verse 1, uh, it says, what manner of love the Father have bestowed upon us to be called sons of God. That means you carry the DNA of God in you. When you stand before you say, I'm standing as a living child of God. You infirmity, you premature death. Can billion, can that millions do that? Jesus made us millionaire. If you have been serving Jesus in poverty, it's not my, my own Jesus. The God of heaven I know, he is more than a millionaire and he made me a millionaire. Can a poor man multiply two bread and five fish and feed 5,000 people. That was somebody preaching the gospel. He took two bread and five fish, lifted it up and gave thanks and said, feed everybody. You call him millionaire? He made us millionaire. If he has not made you a millionaire, encounter my own Jesus. He is the God of heaven. He died on the cross for us. He is not a poor man. My God is a millionaire. And I'm proud to say him, I'm proud. I'm proud to say like an African, I am an example of an African. Don't look at other, you say this, this. No, I am an example of an African that loves Jesus. I am not a lover of Jesus because of anything. I know I'm more than a millionaire because I have Jesus. Because I have Jesus. Because I have Jesus. Let Do not give up family. Do not give up. Don't allow anything weigh you down. Because they told you, maybe you made an error. You should just forget about God. You're just going to be chasing your life. It's God that is giving you that life. One songwriter says, if you leave me now, where will I go? The moment God told the devil, okay, go on. Do whatsoever thing you have with Job. But, but don't touch his life. In less than few times, Job lose all his children, lose all his wealth. Where was the blessing coming from? You might be blessed. But God is the foundation of your blessing. The moment you try to feel as if you are the source, God will take that life away from you. Please, family, our God is the giver of all good things. All good things. Do not be distracted. Do not be distracted. You never made an error accepting Jesus Christ. Never. I pray for somebody under the sound of my voice. You will not give up. For in Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen.